Hey everyone, so I didn't get a chance to film an intro for this video actually while I was doing it. So this is me now. You're lucky you still get me. If you want to go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe before you keep watching, I will show you all my tips and tricks. When I was taking the uh, door jam off that, I decided to just take the stairs off too. I hadn't gotten that last piece off. I took the last piece off and uh, Ollie's been uh, dropping some secrets underneath there. Found a nice little hole. So uh, that's really good. I'm excited about that. Not really, but I have a solution. Going to use handy dandy grinder right there. We got familiar with um, taking the seats out. So I'm gonna revisit that relationship. And then I bought for a different project. I had gotten this Rust-Oleum undercoating of Trisist Rust. So after I grind off as much rust there as I can, with kind of leaving a stair there, hopefully at least, then I'll spray it with this, and then I'm just going to plop the same wood that I have on the inside on those stairs, cut them to angles. I'm really excited for that. But do that, and hopefully that's enough. It's not the best solution. There's probably other solutions, but it will work for us. So... enough for that grinder so I'm gonna go back with this little wire brush thing and brush it off more I did grind pretty much over these whole rusty corners not enough yet so I'm gonna have to go back again after this just to see what areas need more hi Max say hello Four black, don't you think? like one of those little finicky butter sprays. I think I have another can. So I'm gonna go grab that. It is new can time. So it's a moment of truth. too cold okay well I kind of got it coated so I'll do the rest from the bottom after I get the floor on it's probably gonna take me 10 years to cut oh Max's is button there boom Max <laughs> okay so my top stair is 30 and 7 eighths at least along the riser <laughs> You're seeing it with me. How did I do? Oh, mama. Look at that. That is perfect. I could not be a prouder of myself. I normally have to measure it 14 times and cut it 18. 
That's amazing. I think I want it, yes, this way. Because there's going to be a stupid amount of extra board. I'm not excited for this part necessarily. That's going to be a little bit more tricky than that just was. I also think that I'm going to grind this down a little bit. Because it is raising this up and not allowing this to sit flat. So let's do that in a moment. So on my flooring, I have this lip where the second one goes into, and then this part that starts it. And I want this sitting right up against the riser, so I'm just gonna trim this off with the skill saw so that it sits against there evenly. just as you would guess. So, but it's okay. Honestly gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I think I might wanna put the wallpaper around here first, actually. Let's definitely sand that first, but so that it goes underneath a little bit so you don't see the line. That's what we're gonna do, Max. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so stay tuned for the wood. What I'm realizing I also want to do is fill these holes with some silicone. This is just going to be wallpaper on the side. Yes, I know not very warm and energy efficient, but honestly, I don't know what else to do. So I'm just going to do wallpaper. So I need these sealed so that it doesn't get all ruined and gross. And then I think I'm going to do that with this too. That's where the wires used to go from the arm. No, that's not it. That's where the light was for the stairs. There's wires that go back there, but so this is for the stairs, so I'm just gonna seal that up too, just in case. And then I guess any of those little holes too, just to make it even. Hi, Max. Good boy. You're a good boy. If you saw my last wallpaper video, I did not sand the back of the plywood where I put it last time, but this is like glue and stuff all over it, and the wallpaper's a little bit thin. So I just want to make sure to try and cover as much as I can, or sand off as much as I can, because the wallpapers will show, I think, at least some. All right, so I got the wallpaper up. Um, I'm a little concerned, but the door jam is gonna go over that, and then I'm gonna do I don't know what it's called. It's like that little transition thing that goes over the side of the stair. I'm doing that over that, so I'm hoping it covers that. Do you have something to say, Max? No? Okay. And then I'm gonna do that all the way around there. So hoping that cleans up that a little bit. And now I just have to figure out how to cut that stair. That one looks really good. I feel good about how that looks. There's a little hole right there, a little hole right here, a little hole somewhere over there. It's not perfect, but it'll work. So yeah, I'm gonna go try and cut that. I cut one of my other planks to four inches cause that's about what that is. And then I think I'm just gonna use a skill saw after that, but I don't know. So I decided on a skill saw. It's plugged in, which means I'm ready to go. Um, not a lot of edge on the actual table. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Oh. All you're really missing is me struggling to put this board together and tracing a line. That seems not terrible. I did it twice and it went on the same thing. I don't know what happened here, where that goes. I am... Um, let's try again. Here I'm just cutting along that line that I traced along the bottom of the stair. Just hit me in the throat. That's a little curved. Oh my gosh! Look at that! I just did that! 
That little transition piece is totally gonna cover that. Oh my. We got a little off track right here. But don't hate. I wanna see you do better. You probably might be able to, but it's okay. Yeah, Max. Ooh, ooh. Mm. To you too. All right, so where this one was so easy, this one is not. That top step, I was just able to put it in straight. So I really only had to cut this one. Like this one is just a straight piece. As you can see on the bottom, it's uh, not that way. I didn't realize it until now. But like, yeah, that's not straight. I think I wanna like get it straight against the back like that one so it kind of flows a little bit more. But I definitely didn't anticipate that kind of angle and I'm not sure what to do about it. So I will get back to you and uh, we'll see what I came up with. I am here to be honest. Honestly, this is as best as it's gonna get. And as you can see, this is round. I don't know why that's round, but it's round. This side. This one. It's not perfect. I can't get it, but that's good enough for me. I'm just gonna put a little caulker there or something or sealant. I don't know. But that one's uh, pretty round too. I ended up getting a new piece of wood and then tracing the edges that I had cut for that board because I cut the board way too short. I'm a little mad that that looks like a cat chewed it. But let's see the fix. I only cut one side so far. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in there yet, but. Yeah, it does it. Oh! Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? No. Look at that. That's not gonna fit. of that like probably two millimeters just so I could have a little bit extra of that because I did cut it short I don't know if that's the right angle anymore if I actually got it right or not it's connecting flat pieces of wood on curved stairs doesn't turn out to be so easy I'm getting kind of frustrated with this project Here's where I'm just tracing the bottom of that stair shape. So I cut it. Let's see if it even is right. Okay, this front I feel good about. The sides, honestly, I think I'm just gonna have to do caulk. Doesn't match up, just put a little caulk in there. Maybe not, maybe that's awful. But I trust my abilities enough to know that I'm not going to get any closer than that. I just can't seem to cut it long enough. Look at that floor. I'm going to adhesive it. Have this flex paste. You can't see that. Flex paste, though. To adhesive it. Definitely clean your stair first before you put down this paste stuff. After that, dance to seal is the best method. And there you have it, an almost finished entryway. I just have to put that little metal piece around the top and the bottom, and we're all set. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and give us a thumbs up, and subscribe.